Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making a zero carb crust pizza in 10 minutes. So, I have everything laid out, we're gonna assemble it, and to make things even easier, we are making it in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you could totally make this in the oven, but I feel like an air fryer just makes things so much easier, less cleanup, so that's what we're using today. As you can tell, I am in the pizza spirit. I'm using my daughter's apron, so I think it's super cute, and I think it just fits the video, so we are, you know, I'm, I'm borrowing this for today. Now, traditional pizza usually has a ton of carbs, you have the gluten, so this is not only super low in carbs, it's zero carbs, but it's also gluten-free. I have an issue with gluten, I have a gluten sensitivity, so if you're on the same page with me, if you get bloated after you eat pizza, then you're gonna want to try this. Not only because it's gluten-free, but also because it's so delicious, guys. And not only that, it is loaded with protein. So you're literally having a pizza that's nutritious, full of protein, and I'm telling you, delicious. So for the crust, we are using ground chicken. I just picked up some ground chicken at my local grocery store and we are going to season it. All right guys, so here we have our onion powder, garlic powder going in. And this one doesn't have salt. I use just like the actual powder. And then I like to kind of control my salt. So we have um, onion powder, garlic powder, some chili flakes and Italian seasoning. And we are gonna go in with a pepper. And I'll have all the measurements for you in the description below. I usually link everything in my blog, which is lowcarblove.com. So I'll have the full recipe there for you guys to just to see it or to even print it out. So now we're just gonna give this a mix. If you have gloves, then obviously get all in there and like <laughs> make sure that your meat is well seasoned. Or you can use a spatula and just put in a little arm workout just to make sure that your meat is really well seasoned before we cook it. Okay, so I mix this as best that I could with the spatula. Now, what we're gonna do is place it onto an air fryer liner. I just grabbed these on Amazon. I'll leave them linked for you as well. If you're not already using them, they make your life so much easier when you're using an air fryer because air fryers will get crusty and then it's just the whole thing. So these have literally made my life so much easier. Okay, so we have our air fryer liner and now I'm just gonna place my chicken or my, my soon to be crust right in here. So you can make one thick one or two, like I can, as you can see, I can actually make two out of these. So what I'm gonna do is just spread this. And if you don't have liner, you can place it directly onto your um, air fryer or even like a little baking sheet. Like whatever you typically use to cook in your air fryer, you can, you can um, make this on. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just using my spatula because this is like the dough, the, your crust is gonna be like a little sticky. So um, if you have gloves and you might just wanna put a little bit of oil or water, um, I obviously don't have gloves on, so I'm just using my spatula to help me. And I'm just shaping it into just like a round circle, but you can make it square, you can make it, I mean, this is your pizza, you're gonna eat it, so it's all personal preference here, or whatever works or make, makes your life easier. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. I need to spread this down with my hands. I was trying to avoid this just to keep my hands clean, but it just makes life so much easier when you use your hands. <laughs> just put a little bit of oil and look at boom, boom, boom. And it's gonna be just more even and just, um, it just spreads so much easier and you have more control, so. All right guys, so now we are going to place this right into our air fryer. So as you can see, it looks nice and clean. I'm telling you, the liners make a world of a difference. So. This is all set, let's put this to cook. You want to cook your crust first, then we're gonna add the toppings. So it is a two-step process, but it's so easy. All right guys, this is gonna cook for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. I cannot wait to show you the texture of our crust. All right guys, 
Ooh, look at this baby. Here, let's take it out. Bam. Guys, do you see this golden brown deliciousness right here? Zero carb crust. And guys, I'm telling you when it all comes together, like it tastes like a normal pizza. Because I know you're probably like, ah, if I'm gonna have pizza, I might as well just have the, you know, the real deal. I'm telling you this tastes like the real deal. No doubt. So I just can't wait to, to show it to you all together. I think you guys are gonna be impressed. I was impressed the very first time I made my own chicken crust. Okay, so we have our crust. Now here we have some low sugar marinara. Always just try to find the lowest sugar marinara you can, only because, I mean, there are brands out there that make it, and it's like, why put all that sugar into your body when this tastes just as delicious, you know? So I like to put a nice, good, thick layer like that. And I always like to leave like a little tiny bit of room on the edges because it does spread a little and then, you know, you just don't want the big mess. So we have our low sugar sauce. Then we have our mozzarella. Okay. And then we have our pepperoni. So we're just going to, these are just regular sized pepperonis. Um, you can use the minis, but I feel like they're not too small and not too big. They just go perfect for this size pizza. I feel like this is kind of like an individual size pizza, you know? I would definitely put this down, like the whole thing. Maybe with a little side salad, perfect dinner. Um, but if you want it more for lunch, then you can definitely share this with someone. But we're all set. Oh, you know what I like to do just to um, get like a little bit of crust on the pepperonis? I like to top it with a tiny bit more cheese. Just makes the pepperoni look cheesy too. Alrighty, going back in. So now, obviously everything's cooked. The only thing we're gonna do now is make it nice and cheesy. Okay, so we're gonna put this in for, I would say about five minutes. You just wanna check it, like depending on your, on your air fryer. Some are just a lot stronger than others. So I'm putting it in for five. I'll check it at three. You just don't want it to burn, which it won't, but it might just get a little extra crispy. Unless you like a little, little extra crispy, then it'll be fine. But we're doing five minutes. And guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna be blown away by how this turns out. All right, guys, moment of truth. Ooh -wee. Do you see this beauty? All right, guys, we're gonna put this on our little board. Mm, masterpiece, masterpiece. I'm so excited right now. This looks so beautiful. I mean, you guys have to agree with me. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Guys, this looks amazing. Like you cannot tell me this does not look like a real pizza. I mean, it, it is a real pizza, but <laughs> this is a chicken crust pizza, zero carb chicken crust pizza that legitimately tastes like the real deal. Guys, it will hit the spot in every which way. All right, guys, so we are cutting our pizza. Take a look at this beauty, nice golden brown color. Guys, there's only one thing left to do, and that is the taste test. Oh, it's so hot. Mm -mm. Mm. Guys, this is pizza. I'm telling you. Mm. This is a 10 out of 10. Totally hits the spot. Super flavorful, full of protein, super nourishing. Guys, there's no reason why you should not make this, this recipe. All right guys, so I'm gonna leave the recipe linked in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on. It is so important for you guys to go hit that little bell button. You guys are gonna get notified every time I post a delicious video just like this. So we are almost at a million subscribers, so stay tuned because we are definitely doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.